Hey, John here from Web Agents. So I'm making a video for you, short video for you about how to create your web hosting account. And a, by the way, a question I, I get sometimes is, what's the difference between registering domain and, and a web hosting account? And why do I need the two? And why do the, are they separate? Well, they don't have to be separate, but in this case they are, because in a previous video I recommended you register your domain on, on Namecheap or Crazy Domains. Now, stable host, who I recommend for your web hosting, um, the, now the reason why you need both. So registering a domain is like, I compare it to a street address, right? And a vacant block of land. It's like you buy a block of land and that's my address. So that's where I'm going to live and that's where you send me my mail. But you have to build a house on it and your house is your website. And to build a house on your block of land or your URL, your domain, you need a web hosting account to actually create that website, like to install WordPress, for example, and, and get it up and running. So basically a web hosting account like Stablehost allows you to build your site. So a domain is purely an address that people go to, but when they go to that URL, so if they go to you know webagents.com.au, they'll see nothing unless I actually build a website and I need a web hosting account to do that, which is what we're gonna do right here. So uh, again, I, I use Stablehost myself, I did a lot of research before I chose them because I was with a previous company that was not doing great. They got bought out by someone. I was with State, uh, HostGator before and it was with them for many years, but then they got bought out and they, their servers just, the the customer service dropped, the website performance dropped because they, I think they were putting too many accounts on the one server. So uh, again, so I've been using StableHost for three years maybe now. I can't remember. I'm not sure how long, long, long time. And they're, and they're really good. So, and, and uh, good support, the uptime is great on the website. So to create your Stablehost account, you need to go to obviously stablehost.com. And you, and by the way, this is worldwide. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can create your Stablehost account. It doesn't matter if you've got a, you want to host a .com.au site or a .com site or a German site or doesn't matter what kind of site where you are in the world you can use Stablehost. So you go to stablehost.com and you click on sign up and you're given some accounts starter pro platinum. I personally use platinum but you don't need to go that far. I recommend when you're starting out just go with starter or pro. What's the difference between starter and pro? Basically, Starter allows you to only host one website. So if you only plan on, only need one website right now, go with Starter. You can always go with Pro. With Pro, it basically allows you to host as many sites as you want within your account. Uh, and you can always upgrade at any time. So just if you only need one website set up, just go with the Starter one. So, all right, so let's click on Sign Up Now. All right, so the first thing it asks if you have a domain or not. Now, if you've done what, uh, if you looked at a previous video of mine, we've already registered a domain. If you haven't, you can go watch that. Go search um, my web agent's YouTube channel and you'll see uh, register a domain, how to do that. So, and, and it's better, by the way, to have your domains registered separately to your web hosting account. I'll tell you why, because the reason is because if you decide to change from stable host to go to a different web hosting company for whatever reason, um, you can easily do that. You can just shut down this account, open up your new web hosting account, and then because your domains are registered with someone else, an independent company like Namecheap or Crazy Domains, you can just point your URLs to your new web hosting account. And so it's just a lot better. So I highly recommend don't register your domains with your web hosting account. Okay, so so we've already registered our domain previously. And so we're going to choose this option. I want to use my already existing domain. And let's say it's, um, I'll put something in here that, uh, all right, stablehostrocks.com. All right, let's say that's my domain. It's not, but let's stablehostrocks. Yep. I click on next. Oh, and I should, um, by the way, I need to go back here. So we, we selected um, 36 months. Let me, can I go back? Previous step, previous. Um, no, let me just go click on the back button here. So um, you don't have to go 36 months. You can go like 
you can go monthly, three months, build every three months. Just go monthly. I just recommend going monthly, uh, which is great, especially if you if you think you're going to upgrade anyway. So, so let's choose that again. Stablehostrocks.com. All right. Step two is um, SSH access add-on lifetime two dollars fifty. Most people don't need that. You can always add it later. So just um, if you don't want it, or if you're not sure, it's only two dollars fifty lifetime. It's you know it's not even monthly or yearly. It's just a one-off. So go ahead and keep that if you want. If you really don't want to, that's fine. You don't really need it. And I'm and I'm pretty fairly sure you can just add that on any time later anyway. Okay, so uh, we might have two domains here because um, I, I hit the back button and did it twice. So let me just delete one of these. Okay, so it should look something like this. Uh, hosting location, I, I've never changed it myself. I, I'm just happy to leave that there unless, because uh, I'm in Australia. Um, so I, I, maybe I should choose Singapore. That might be better. But I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, all right, you can choose to pay by credit card or PayPal. And I'm going to continue to check out. I'm going to do by credit card. All right, and then if you... Uh, so obviously if you're creating a web hosting account, you're, gonna, you're not going to have a login, so you're going to need to create an account where you put your email, password, uh, and the password is because they're going to give you a login to manage your web hosting account, like to manage billing or to get access to your web host control panel so you can store WordPress and so forth, um, which we will do that for you, by the way, most of the time if you're one of our clients, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But so you're, you can enter the password that you want to have there for your account. So your email address, your password, first name, last name, um, your address, your phone, your address. Don't worry about company, company and company registration number. You can leave those blank. And obviously your country, your preferred currency. So uh, I'd just stick to US unless you're in one of these two areas. And if you could, I guess you could say that you can say other and you can say I sent you if you like, but you don't have to, doesn't really matter. All right, and then you click on create account and then it'll create that account for you and then it'll ask you for your billing details and you're all done. So you, you'll, you'll have your web hosting account. Now, if we're managing your website for you, just send us the login details that you create. So they're going to give you, um, so the email address you used here, uh, we're going to need the email address and your password that you created. We're going to need that so we can log in and um, be able to set up your website for you. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.